God does not take pleasure in the death of evil men. He does not wish that any person should perish. Our Lord Jesus Christ has shown this, that it is not the pleasure of God that any person should perish. But you always pray God to kill the sinners. You also say, if I were God, I would kill all the robbers and the thieves. If really you were God, no man would have been left. For example, as we are here, if a person should come in and carry away the tight box, you will immediately react by arresting him. But I tell you, God will not say anything. If even all the tight boxes and other things were carried away, God will be silent because there is nothing bad in the action. Do not resist an evildoer. People claim that they are in the world. That is why they argue. How can a person come to your house and abuse you and then goes unpunished? It means another person will take the same advantage. God knows that you are human. This is what you base your actions on. And because of this, you fall short of the glory of God. What has he said? That you should not resist an evildoer. God does not resist an evil one. Those who enter into the path of iniquity, God will allow them to go. If your eyes are plucked off, if your leg is pricked with thorn, it is not done by God. He remains as quiet as ever. He is as pure, showing that the Lord is good. You complain that your eyes have been damaged and because of this you decide to take vengeance upon yourself since you say that God will not take vengeance and as such advise someone to take vengeance upon himself. That is why so many people, if they are owed certain amount of money by a brotherhood member will think of seeking redress in the court but remember that the father is always advised that you should not take court action against anybody he will seek another way maybe diabolical of recovering his money what other way will he seek is it not a way of death this is what kills you if anything should happen now and you decide to take the person responsible before the father the person will say take me there i know that the father will serve me with tea and knowing fully well that this is what will be done you decide to take action according to your tradition it is a truism that if a thief is brought before me or a man who has been intimate with your wife or husband, I will serve him with tea. And because of this, you will regret not having gone to the Father. You have seen the truth, but you bluntly refuse to accept it. Who has told you that God kills and that God does become hungry. Have you not heard the words of our Lord Jesus Christ? God has no share in anything sinful. He does not impute sins. He does not begrudge anyone. Be, ho be as holy as he is holy. Brethren, <coughs> Excuse me. if only we should accept and abide by the teaching given by us, by God, we would have no problem. There will be no sickness, 
there will be no poverty, there will be no more division. It is said, whosoever shall compel you to go a mile, go with him twain, so that you continue to be holy as he is holy. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, whosoever shall smite you on thy right cheek, turn to him the other also. If the person chooses to hit you on the head, do not resist. Be just as he is holy. <coughs> Excuse me. He does not speak about any man being or about himself, but about God who created heaven and earth, who we have to look unto and resemble to destroy is a very simple task but reconstruction is tedious you can now see that this reformation for us to be like god takes years and years if he does not reform us so will we remain he has now come whether we like it or not we must be like him no more emulate the practices of other church denominations. Do not want to do what is done in the church denomination. Only act as God. The whole world must be as He is. He has now purchased all mankind unto Himself. The whole Muslim world, the Hindus, the Hindus, the Buddhists, he has all gathered unto himself. The whole world must be holy as he is holy. Evil will kill an evil door. If somebody commit any act of sin, he will be punished. But one day he will take stock of what he has been doing and thereby realizes stand when you say that God has given you the power to kill or the power to steal I have to tell you that God has no part in such actions he has no share in any sin it is said sinner no more continue in sin because sin will kill a sinner if you are told that God is angry with any person it is only a mark of ignorance. Read St. Matthew's Gospel chapter 5 and you will discover that God does not abuse. He does not hate. He is as simple as the letters of the alphabet. He is enjoyable. When you read the passage in the Bible which says, neither let us commit fornication as some of them committed and fell in one day three and twenty thousand you conclude that god does not that god does kill and they will not attend any church that was by an angel that is the wages of sin that is why we must be holy because if we commit any sin we shall receive punishment sin is not merciful unto people it means that you do not love your life. If you were to love your life, you would be holy as he is holy. Then there will be no sickness, no death, no luck, and no poverty. And he said, For I will be merciful to their unrighteousness, and their sins and their iniquities will I remember no more. As for man, whatever offense, you have committed he will not forgive but god says that your sins are remembered no more you are forgiven of all your sins by god let our second lesson be read second lesson and john chapter 5 verse 19 then answered jesus and said unto them verily verily i say unto you the son cannot do nothing of himself but what is yet the Father do, for what things soever he doeth, these also doeth 
the sun likewise. He is a forgiving God. Brethren, have you heard that? Right now, if you receive the news that our Lord Jesus Christ is in India, every person the world over will travel to India to see him. Even those who cannot afford the transport money will pledge their properties in order to obtain money for the journey. If you hear that he is in America, even the sick one and all others will be thankful to the Father and will all travel to America to see him. Right now you have been taught what God is to be holy as he is holy. That is simply God. It is said we will see him. He, we will be like him. This means that our Lord Jesus Christ had seen him. That is why when he was crucified he said, Father, forgive them for they know not what they do. He forgive them for their action. This is exactly how God is. Our Lord Jesus Christ is God. That is why when Peter wanted to fight, our Lord Jesus Christ said, Thinkest thou not that I cannot now pray to my Father, and he shall presently give me more than twelve legions of angels? But how then will the scripture be fulfilled? And thus it must be. You should not resist an evil one. Our Lord Jesus Christ did not say any word upon all the accusations leveled against him that he is a murderer, a thief, and all sorts of funny names. He never said anything. He knew that there were not true statements. Who can argue that he is not God? What else is he? It is said, fear not that which destroys only the flesh and cannot destroy the soul, but fear that which destroys both flesh and soul in hell. Pilate told him to escape to safety. He had, Pilate advised him to run to a distant town because he was going to be killed. Two escorts were given him to escort him out, but he disappeared before them. Have you ever heard of our Lord Jesus Christ becoming angry with any man? He was called a thief. He was called a ghost, but he never become angry. Because he was with the Father, he is the Father and the Son. Who should say that our Lord Jesus Christ is not God? What do you think him to be? Who has ever led such a life? That is exactly the type of life we must live. If he had looked unto Moses, what would have happened? If he had looked unto Abraham, what would have happened? If he had looked unto David, what would have happened? If he had looked on them, then they would have led the whole world into destruction. Abraham was led by an angel. Moses was led by an angel. David and the rest of them were led by angels. But know that an angel is a pugnacious being. Brethren, have you realized that the son can do nothing by himself? except what he sees the father does? Have you ever heard that he collected money from any sick person? Have you heard him pronouncing war on anyone? Have you seen him discriminate? This is exactly the likeness of God. That is God. Have you not seen how he has revealed God? Then were there brought unto him little children, that he should put his hands on them and pray. And the disciples rebuked them. But our Lord Jesus Christ said, Suffer the little children to come unto me and forbid them not. 
for of such is the kingdom of God. When the blind Bartimaeus heard that our Lord Jesus Christ was passing by, he shouted, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. But the multitude rebuked him to keep quiet. But our Lord Jesus Christ forbid them. This still revealed God. Our Lord Jesus Christ stood still and commanded him to be called. When he came to our Lord Jesus Christ, he was asked, What will thou that I should do unto thee? The blind man replied, Lord, that I might receive my sight. Our Lord Jesus Christ said unto him, Receive your sight. Go thy way, thy faith hath made thee whole. Who has done such a thing? It is God. Who then says that he is not God? God has come down and walked here on earth, but you keep on shouting, Jesus, Jesus. If he had looked unto Abraham, remember when soldiers captured Lot and his household, Abraham mustered men and went into war, killed all the soldiers and captured their weapons. He was being led by the angel. If he had looked unto David, Saul, before he handed over his daughter to David, Unto marriage, into marriage, demanded that the demanded that three hundred human heads be brought to him. David said that three hundred human heads meant nothing to him. David therefore brought three hundred human heads to Saul. You should not follow them because they never saw God. Right now, God has come down on earth. It is our Lord Jesus Christ who is that God. Have you not seen God? You will have no problem right from today if you look unto his life, his teachings and doctrines. You must be like him. If you have him, you have life. If you reject him, you will reject life. If the world ever known that he is God, have you noticed the type of life he has? Have you heard his voice in the streets? Have you seen him puff up? Have you seen him arrogating to himself the position of God? Unless we follow the footsteps of our Lord Jesus Christ, be like him and practice his teaching, we cannot have eternal life. Adam never saw God. Melchizedek never saw God. No, never saw God. None of them saw God except our Lord Jesus Christ, the only, the only begotten Son of God, who, has, who was with the Father and who is the Father. It was He alone who saw God face to face. He was like the Father and revealed God fully. And so, brethren, I do not want to be to overload you. Let our golden text be read so that you may believe that he is the one. Golden text, John chapter 6, verse 46. Not that any man hath seen the Father, save he which is of God, he hath seen the Father. Faith is the substance of things, O oh, far the evidence of things not seen. Have you heard that? Our Lord Jesus Christ has confirmed that right from Adam, no one has seen the Father. He is the, it is only our Lord Jesus Christ who has seen the Father. He is also revealed the Father unto us. He has also revealed the Father unto us. As an embodiment of humility, of love, truth, good communication, patience, temperance, and meekness, long suffering, one who is not fastidious, who also does not quarrel, he does not exact money from anybody, he does not frown his face because 
he struggles for nothing with anybody he is exactly the same thing which is obtaining these days the greatest thing in the world is what someone sees with his eyes because if you do not see anything with your eyes you cannot give any story about it have you not heard how thomas said except i shall see in his hands the print of the nails and put my finger into the print of the nails and trust my hand into his side i will not believe if he had not trust his finger into this side he would not have believed the virtues of god christ the only practitioner it is the greatest thing have you not seen the life of demarcation between brotherhood and the entire world have you not seen with your naked eyes have you not seen virtue of love have you not seen virtue of humility have you not seen virtue of truth have you not seen virtue of mercy have you not seen virtue of peace can you compare the disciples of our lord jesus christ with the disciples of moses and the disciples of abram or the disciples of david or the disciples of aaron our lord jesus christ demonstrated practical christianity therefore those who were with him saw his life and his righteousness emulating and learning of a person is doing exactly what you see the person does our lord jesus christ taught his disciples thus only do what i do learn of me he enjoined them to do only what he did not only do what he said all church denominations continue to preach do not do what i do but do what i say which of these statements portray practical christianity this shows that it is only our lord jesus christ who sees god lives in him hears only hears only from him does only what he does resembles him and glorifies him during the advent of our lord jesus christ many regarded friday as a day of rest others regarded saturday as a day of rest but he always worked round the clock 24 hours a day it is said remember the sabbath day to keep it holy because we saw the father he was in the father he heard directly from the father and acted accordingly he was accused of not observing the sabbath that he was a beelzebub he was called a devil a ghost an abomination and they took up stones swords and sticks to kill him but our lord jesus christ did not bother he only sat down not ruffled if our lord jesus christ was looking unto man resembled man would he not have retaliated but since he is god he was calm this shows the spirit of god god is never angry what are you before god you are nothing but god is every is ever so merciful he is ever loving he is ever true he is ever humble righteous and patient purify your heart have you therefore seen why he remains an everlasting god abram did not see god moses did not see god john the baptist did not see god but all have born testimony that it is only our lord jesus christ who has seen god and is like him and who has revealed god openly if you should address any person as jehovah witness our lord jesus christ is the only jehovah witness why then do you claim to be jehovah's witness you commit murder does it mean that god murders you commit fornication does it mean that god fornicate fornicate 
you discriminate against and one another. Does it mean that God discriminates? As you go about laboring for money and other things, God is only looking at you despitefully. That is why he is calling on you, that you should come unto me and be holy as I am holy. This is the only thing you have to do. Once you do it, there will be no problem. It is incumbent upon all of us to be holy as he is holy. It is said, the eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous and his ears are open unto their cry. His face is open unto their cry. The face of the Lord is against them that do evil. Have you not seen the happenings in this generation? You break in and destroy tight boxes and steal the tights in them. You quarrel and do all sorts of evil things. But have you heard any noise from him? He has no concern there. Where do you think is the source of such behavior? No man in the world can be found to have such qualities except our Lord Jesus Christ. That is why it is said, when he shall appear, we will resemble him and be like him. Right now, we have seen him. It is incumbent upon the whole world to resemble him. Worship God in spirit and in truth. Remember the woman of Samaria who said, Our fathers worship in this mountain. And ye say that in Jerusalem is the place where we ought to worship. But our Lord Jesus Christ told her, Woman, believe me, the hour cometh when ye shall neither on this mountain nor at, nor at Jerusalem worship the Father. Right now, it is not only in the house that you must worship. You must show practical example by loving one another. You should not commit any vices. Do not become angry. Do not quarrel. Do not indulge in the preparation of concoction and charm. Do not take drugs. Do not fornicate. Do not hate. Have you ever heard that our Lord Jesus Christ exact erected a building and name it house of God what type of house will you build when you know that God is omnipresent God is everywhere when you build a particular house for him does it mean that he is not at the other part of the world does it mean that he is not present in the open field or is not found in the marketplaces. He is present everywhere. Some say that all the other six days belong to them, but the same day belong to God. Call on God on Monday. Call on Him on Tuesday. Call on Him on Wednesday. Call on Him on Thursday. And on all days, is there any day you find Him absent? What then do you mean by such statement? Have you not seen this in this kingdom? He works every hour round the clock. Our Lord Jesus Christ said, But the Comforter which is the Holy Ghost, whom the Father will send in my name, he shall teach you all things and bring all things to your remembrance, whatsoever I have said unto you. Do you not see? All the teachings and all the things which were hidden to people have been revealed openly to the world. Love one another. Brotherhood is neither a church nor a prayer house. It is the kingdom of God. See how numerous the people are. What type of house can you build to accommodate people? No matter how big the house may be, it will not accommodate people. Your only duty is to love one another. Do not waste your time to congregate at a place saying that you are worshipping God. Your work is outside. Love one another. If after coming into this kingdom you do not look up unto him, 
what else do you want to do if you look unto a prophet know that you only score zero if you look unto the pastor you only score zero if you look unto the christ servant and christ student you are failed do not look unto any person only look up unto god in order to obtain eternal life look unto our lord jesus christ look unto his teachings this is the only thing you have to do the whole world must look unto our lord jesus christ because it is it is he alone who has seen the father it is he alone who has revealed the father to the whole world therefore brethren it is said one stroke of the pain is sufficient for the wise i will not be tedious unto any man who has ears to hear let him hear may god bless his holy words amen end of quote peace in the name of our lord jesus christ amen Thank you, Father.